you know, in the last 12 years, right, there are only two years in which Green Packet um, achieved annual profitability. So perhaps this is why the market is quite concerned when it comes to investing in the company for long term. You know, so um, I guess where we are, where, where, where I'm trying to come from is that what is the what's the management's plan to get um, Green Packet back in the black? And, you know, which business um, will contribute to the profitability? I know you actually have mentioned this. And um, when can we expect this to happen? Um, and, you know, will, will this profitability be sustainable this time around? Uh, because, you know, uh, people always say that a guesstimate is better than uh, no estimate at all in terms of trying to understand and value your company. Uh, if, if you are looking at, you know, uh, just give you a very simple uh, uh, calculation, right? If you are looking at on our ownership, even on our uh, uh, ownership on G3, we own 28%. Uh, at the time uh, when we incubate uh, this company uh, by acquiring them and turn them into an AI company, we only invested for the form Today, actually, the 44 million investment has grown to more than 500 million worth, right? It's just that we have not much market because it's a long-term investment. So, if you are looking at, if we are translating profit from 44 million investment to grow to more than half a billion, we already have a profit of more than 450 million uh, uh, on the value day. Right, so that also demonstrate uh, actually if we just revalue on our asset in G3, we are already profitable from the extraordinary gain. But uh, building business, you see, the traditional business is already profitable, right? And the new business we only invested for three years, right? Uh, uh, on the fintech and also financial services and digital. And, and we believe that it will not be more than, you know, within the next one or two years around. We revalue our investment. Actually, the whole group actually is already generated so much profit over the last three, four years. So I just wanted the, the investor and the audience that darling today to really have a deep dive. Actually, you know, by all measure, we are executing uh, the plan and very very well and and every month right every quarter you see our revenue continue to, to grow on double digit and our uh, and our losses even without taking into gain our investment is narrowing every quarter right while our expenses is still growing so that is already a very very good sign so we believe that you know, the revenue. And the and the losses, the gap is narrowing every quarter. So from the trend, you can see is very very clear in terms of visibility. So uh, we are we are very confident that the 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 gap is getting narrower, and hopefully in the next uh, foreseeable, I'm thinking about next three or four quarter, uh, all the businesses uh, will be open profitable. I just want to add on to what CC is saying, uh, what he's illustrating is actually the actual uh, segment. Uh, it's actually called the sum of parts computation. So if you look at the, the segments of the company and you value it on a discounted cash flow basis based on profitability in the number of years to come by a, a certain sector, then purely on the green packet business, today the stock should be valued at double of what it is valued in the market. And if you add the G3 global component, it should be triple of what is in the market using a sum of parts. Uh, but the sum of parts valuation um, would be based not on earnings, right? Because at the moment there is actually no earnings, or is this going to be based on future earnings that you're, you know, you're, you're based on your calculation? Yeah, we we uh, we suggest right. Um, if you were to do a calculation, uh, the existing um, three contributing pillars of the business, which is a solution uh, number one, communication number two, and the digital services, uh, what what we do is that um, take a five year view on this, uh, do up uh, a cash flow, and the simplest part to do the cash flow is really on the 
Uh, let's, let's just say use Ibiza, for example, right? Um, take that, um, and uh, what uh, we do on our hurdle rate is maybe, let's say, 8.4% hurdle rate with a 2% terminal value. So you'll come up to a number. Uh, you do our projections. Uh, um, that's one uh, in terms of the existing businesses. Uh, the other two uh, businesses that we talked about earlier in terms of the revenue generation is really on the EKYC side and also the Tencent Club side. Now, uh, EKYC alone, um, the profitability in terms of the gross margins is uh, quite high. It's uh, more than 70-80% uh, of gross margin. So that one is a very good revenue contributor that you will see starting in the next quarter to come. Um, so again, um, we and this this is a business that when you do a IC, it's also a recurring part to it. The second one is really Tencent Club. Tencent Club, we are starting the revenue generation coming from uh, May, and uh, again do a five year discounted cash flow um, on this business. Um, look at the global benchmark on club business. The global benchmark is around uh, sort of a sixty percent kind of become. And we expect this to come in in year two after launch. Uh, year one, because we are launching halfway, which is uh, May 2021, right? By 2022, this will go steady state with beta of about 60 odd. And uh, this one, you, you, you can do some research and global benchmark on this is about 50 odd percent kind of beta. Yeah. So add that all together, um, mainly we do suggest the discounted um, cash flow. Yeah. Okay, so I guess um, I guess what we have just discussed is uh, basically on how to value green packet, right? And we are saying that we should do a sum of parts because there are so many different businesses and business parts of the company. Um, and if you add them up together, uh, the value of the entire in, in, in the entirety would be about maybe double from where it is at the moment. Okay, so if you add the yeah, sorry, if you add the G3 uh, valuation, right, which uh, in our books today, that valuation, like just now CC mentioned, is, is not even mentioned. If you do a mark to market, that alone is, I think, uh, 50, the 600 odd million. So you're talking about adding another 50 odd cent yeah. just to the sum of parts uh, alone. So that's something I'm uh, thinking about. Yeah, so um, to answer that, two times plus the G3. So that, yeah, that, 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 that's even the yeah, I would prefer yeah. to be conservative, like, because G3 is very illiquid. But yeah, I, I understand where you guys are coming from. Thank you. 